Lumberjacks to the 2022 Honored Alumni and Hall of Fame Awards Ceremony. Now in its fifth year, this ceremony is among Northern Arizona University's proudest traditions and esteemed homecoming celebrations. Tonight, we honor 20 distinguished alumni who have and continue to raise NAU to new heights. Please join me in welcoming a champion of NAU and Lumberjacks near and far, President Jose Luis Cruz Rivera. Thank you, Stephanie, and good evening, Lumberjacks. Prima and I are thrilled to be here tonight with so many engaged members of the NAU community. To begin, I want to honor our sacred lands. Northern Arizona University sits at the base of the San Francisco peaks on homelands sacred to Native Americans throughout the region. We honor their past, present, and future generations who have lived here for millennia and will forever call this place home. By evening's end, 20 alumni will join the remarkable cohort of honorees from past honored alumni and Hall of Fame ceremonies. By the time we celebrate commencement this fall, NAU will have graduated nearly 200,000 students since the university was founded in 1899. The impact of the Lumberjack community is truly boundless. Tonight, we celebrate some of our exceptional alumni who have pursued careers of consequences and lived lives of purpose. Individuals whose impacts extend far beyond our university, but who will always call NAU home. Through their professional and personal achievements, their leadership, and community service and their dedication to NAU, these alumni have set a standard to which both students and fellow alumni can aspire. They represent the life-defining impact of a Northern Arizona University education. They are the embodiment of what it means to be a lumberjack for life. Tonight's distinguished alumni speak to the caliber of NAU graduates and to the state, national, and global impact NAU has today. The success of one lumberjack is a success for all lumberjacks. While our honorees do not seek attention and accolades, once you hear their lumberjack story, you will be inspired and proud to be part of our lumberjack family. To our honorees, we are privileged to celebrate you. You have made your alma mater proud. Tonight, you are surrounded by your family, friends, nominators, and our Lumberjack community. And you enter a notable group of Lumberjacks with the unique distinction of earning the university's most prestigious recognition for alumni. Congratulations. My thanks to all of you for joining us for this exceptional evening of celebration. I would now like to turn over the stage to our Master of Ceremonies and Associate Vice President for Alumni Engagement, Stephanie Smith. But before I do that, we need to go, Jack. So go. Yes. Go. Yes. Go. Yes. All right, it's going to be a fun evening. <laughs> Stephanie. On behalf of the advancement team, the NAU Foundation, and the NAU Alumni Association, welcome and good evening. It is my privilege and honor to recognize such impressive, distinguished lumberjacks tonight. This is a celebration of the entire NAU community. To recognize the accomplishments of one lumberjack is to recognize the long established history of excellence here at NAU. We are proud of you, our Lumberjack family. So let me ask, who is here 
attending their very first Honored Alumni and Hall of Fame Awards ceremony. Welcome. That's awesome. Welcome, Nick. And welcome again to those of you who just can't get enough of one of the year's best events. While we are together here on the NAU campus in Flagstaff, we have members of our Lumberjack family tuning in to tonight's live stream. Wherever you are, use the hashtag NAU Homecoming and let's continue the celebration on social. And I know we have some savvy social media rock stars in the room. I know it. Who's going to be the first to post tonight's ceremony? Where is Joy? Where's Joy? Also looking at you, President Cruz Rivera. Who's going to be the first? What? Uh oh. It's on. Who's it going to be? Nice work. My money was on joy. Not going to lie. All right, so tonight we have some fun changes in store. The first, and my favorite, is we have two stage fairies. Andrea and Adelaide, who will be ferrying our honorees and speakers to and from the stage tonight. Welcome to our stage fairies. Another change, which I think you all appreciate, is to listen to me less and enjoy some real entertainment. With that, please join me in welcoming Dr. Brent Levine, Associate Director of Bands and our fearless leader of the NAU Marching Band. Welcome, Brent, can you introduce us to your ensemble this evening? Good evening, everyone. Please welcome, on piano, Austin Shaw, a piano performance major, be graduating in May 23. <laughs> to my right, three, please welcome our brand new tenure track professor of trumpet in the Kitt School of Music, Dr. Kevin Tay. On drums, a music performance major who'll be graduating this spring as well. Please welcome Kai Natsaway. <laughs> and on bass, the director of jazz studies here at NAU and the professor of bass in the Kitt School of Music. Please welcome Chris Finney. Thank you for being here, Brent, Kevin, Christopher, Austin, and Kai. Brent, quick question. Will you uh, be taking any requests from me this evening? Absolutely not. <laughs> All right, I will ask again later tonight. Tonight's celebration is gonna feature three categories of honorees. First, we will have an induction ceremony of the university's existing halls of fame. Following these inductions, Jim Jane, president of the NAU Alumni Association will present the board's distinguished alumni awards. The third category is the prestigious President's Alumni Awards, presented by President Cruz Rivera. This year, we will be introducing you to our seven President's Alumni Award winners throughout the evening. Brent, do you have any ideas on how we may want to signal when it's time to meet one of these presidential honorees? Oh, we got this. Yeah? No, no. Jimmy Jane song. <laughs> How about something a little more lumberjacky? Lumberjacky. Lumberjacky. It's official. Okay. Does that work? That was perfect. Now, through tonight's ceremony, a tribute will be read for each of our honorees. In addition, our honorees will have two minutes to share remarks. And don't worry, honorees have been notified about this before right now. I hope. Um, we're not putting anyone on the spot, I promise. 
And as a gentle reminder to our honorees, due to the nature of tonight's ceremony, honorees will be cued to conclude their two-minute remarks with a lovely musical reminder. All right, now I need to tell everyone about something very important, food. We will be introducing a musical dinner break this year to ensure that we all have time to connect with our colleagues and our loved ones. Look on your tables. You will see programs and cards with QR codes. Don't stress, you're not ordering your dinner using those QR codes tonight but the QR code will take you to a website where you can learn about the causes tonight's honorees are passionate about here at NAU. Please consider recognizing the honoree you are here tonight to celebrate and do so by making a gift to the NAU Foundation in their honor. Your support tonight directly impacts the lives of current and future Lumberjack students. All right, Brent, I'm ready. Lumberjacks across generations and around the world continue Northern Arizona University's tradition of excellence long after their graduation. The President Alumni Awards is one of the university's proudest traditions and honors exceptional alumni from each academic college. Prestigious alumni are chosen for their distinct professional achievements, contributions of time and talent on behalf of the university outstanding teaching or research at NAU, extraordinary dedication to the university through leadership, vision, creativity, or generosity, or by increasing NAU's reputation and impact in the larger community through a commitment to excellence. The President's Alumni Awards recipients truly exemplify what it means to be an alumna or alumnus of NAU. Individually and collectively, NAU alumni elevate the university to higher levels of achievement and serve as inspiration for the next generation of Lumberjacks. President Cruz Rivera, will you join me on stage to introduce your alumni award winners from the College of Arts and Letters and the College of Engineering, Informatics, and Applied Sciences. Please join me in welcoming to the stage from the College of Arts and Letters, Mary Schindel and Dean Chris Boyer. something that I actually started doing at NAU. Chance is one of my very favorite things to work on simply because if you can inject a little bit of the natural world or a little bit of something unexpected, it's really beneficial to the users of the site. I wanted to work in the College of Arts and Letters advisory panel because I felt that my being an artist and working as an artist was a valuable contribution the Robertson Schindel Award is an award based on proficiency in studio art. It has managed to grow to be quite a nice, significant scholarship. So much of being in art is you're wondering if there is a value to it. I hope it says to them that there are people that appreciate it and give it value. 
So my favorite faculty member was definitely Dick Beasley. He had very high standards and he had just this really wonderful sense of design. I remember learning a lot from him and from Don Bendel. He was so influential in the department. They were really dedicated to what they did as artists. Having that kind of support from somebody who is actually an artist, that's the same kind of support I'm hoping to give to students, just never to lose that sort of spark. With her creative vision, With her creative vision, talent, and hard work, Mary Schindel has built a successful career as an artist. Her award-winning art appears in private and public collections, bringing beauty and joy to many spaces. Mary graduated from NAU with a Bachelor of Fine Arts in Painting in 1972. In the intervening years, she has given back to her alma mater by sharing her talent, volunteering her time, and offering financial support. She created the Robertson Schindel Award for Studio Art Excellence to support students majoring in drawing, painting, or printmaking and served as a member of the College of Arts and Letters Advisory Council. She is a valued donor to the NAU Foundation. Congratulations, Mary. I would now ask Mary to deliver some acceptance remarks, and I am eating into her two minutes time now, so please reset the clock. <laughs> thank you. First of all, I would like to thank Dean Boyer for nominating me for this award and the president for approving that. As a visual artist, this is a great honor coming from the College of Arts and Letters. As a student at NAU, I was acquiring the skills I needed to become an artist, but also I was trying to figure out my place in the world as an artist. Here among the trees, the geologists, the forestry majors, and the writers and artists, I was introduced to people who came from all backgrounds but who shared a common love for this place. As a public artist, my work is focused on people and the places they love. My hope for students is that they love this place, learn the skills to make art here, and take those skills and their love for this place out into the world as artists. Another round of applause for Mary. Now please join me in welcoming to the stage from the College of Engineering, Informatics, and Applied Sciences, Mary Fuller and Dean Andy Wang. at Jupiter Intelligence, a classic Silicon Valley startup that focuses on predicting climate risk in today's changing environment. I also teach as an adjunct professor at Santa Clara University, where I teach in the Entrepreneur's Law Clinic. So before going to NAU, I had a nine to five job that wasn't particularly inspiring. I was working at Sperry Avionics as a full-time electronic technician. I saw all these engineers who seemed really excited about their lives and I realized I wanted to be one. You know, when I arrived at NAU at the ripe old age of 23, I was an older student and felt like an older student. And frankly, I was terrified. NAU showed me that I could succeed they provided me with a learning assistance center, a success counselor who checked in on me regularly. NAU had a health center where I could go when I didn't feel well. And you know what? After just one week at NAU, I didn't feel well. I had altitude sickness. I didn't know what it was, but they did. I had everything I needed. I felt safe and I knew that I could succeed there. I want that 
for other students, other students like me who are first generation. Today, my primary give back is really a monetary give back. I did establish a scholarship and I'm happy that I've been able to do that. I know there are so many outstanding and deserving alumni and I hope I can live up to the ideal that this award represents. Mary Fuller's professional accomplishments, generosity, and dedication to service truly embody the boundless excellence of NAU alumni. Mary obtained her Bachelor's of Science in Electrical Engineering in 1989. Go EE. <laughs> she went on to earn a law degree, worked at Hewlett Packard in Boise, and has since enjoyed a successful legal career, including establishing her own firm, Fuller Tech Law. Today, Mary is head of legal at Jupiter Intelligence and an adjunct professor at Santa Clara University. Through it all, Mary has never forgotten the challenges of being a first-generation student. In 2018, she created the Mary Fuller Scholarship for Student Success to support first-generation college students. She's a major donor to the NAU Foundation and an engaged alumna who participates in NAU Alumni Association activities. Mary is a distinguished partner, outstanding ambassador, and dedicated advocate for Northern Arizona University. A big round of applause and congratulations to Mary. I'm very short, so just one second here. Well, I couldn't be more surprised to be here. I have to tell you that when I was getting emails from NAU, I'm embarrassed to say I was mostly ignoring them. I was really busy and I figured they were just more fundraising emails. I was shocked when I got a snail mail letter from the dean and from the president saying you've been elected as an award recipient. And I couldn't have been more over the moon. NAU has been one, one of the most pivotal, pivotal experiences for me in my life. I came here as a really, as I said, terrified 23 year old selling all of, quitting my job as, as an uh, as a elect electronic technician selling my property, selling my car, moving into a dorm room, sharing it with another human. And um, from there, finding my path and finding my way. It really was terrifying. And all along the way, I had the support of my family. I have to tell you that my mom and my aunt and my husband are here with me today, all supporting me. So the support of my family, letting me know that I could do it, and the support of all of you. NAU was like a big hug to me, and I hope that for the future first-generation students, they're finding that same big hug. I'm so pleased that I've been able to support with this small scholarship. I hope to be able to add to it in more substantial ways. And if you want to donate to my scholarship, you just go right ahead. It's the Mary Fuller Scholarship. Feel free to do that. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dean. Thank you, President. Thank you for selecting me. I, I feel so blessed and honored. Thank you. Well, that's an inspiring start to the evening, wouldn't you say? Congratulations to the Marys. Also, I think we all learned to open and read all emails from NAU, right? All of them. All right, let's continue the celebration and introduce honorees from the Halls of Fame. Each class will be introduced individually by their respective deeds. But first, let's watch a quick video introducing these three notable and long-standing traditions. The College of Education 
the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences, and the W.A. Frankie College of Business recognize and honor individuals from each school by inducting them into their respective Hall of Fame. Northern Arizona University is proud to induct each individual into their specific Hall of Fame. The College of Education established their Hall of Fame in 2014 to recognize individuals who have demonstrated long-standing achievement in their area of expertise and have made significant impact in the field of education. These service-minded alumni have advanced the NAU College of Education through their contributions and leadership. The College of Social and Behavioral Sciences established their Hall of Fame in 2010 to recognize individuals who have made significant contributions to the university, community, or their career. These esteemed individuals exemplify what the NAU College of Social and Behavioral Sciences seeks to cultivate in its alumni. A strong sense of purpose, leadership for innovation, and a personal commitment to better the world. The W.A. Frankie College of Business established their Hall of Fame in 2003 to recognize individuals who have proven exceptional success and leadership in their professions. These generous individuals are dedicated to academic excellence in the pursuit of a business education at NAU. Induction into the Northern Arizona University School of Social and Behavioral Sciences, the W.A. Frankie College of Business, and the College of Education Hall of Fame acknowledges these individuals have made esteemed contributions to the University, Arizona, and beyond. Please join me in welcoming to the stage Dean Ramona Malat from the College of Education who will induct two deserving alumni into their Hall of Fame. Good evening. It is my privilege to welcome to the stage this year's College of Education Hall of Fame inductees, Dr. Karen Butterfield and Robin Yule. Dr. Karen Butterfield earned her bachelor's in art education in 1975 and her master's and doctoral degrees in educational leadership in 1985 and 1995, graduating with distinction. She also received an NAU honorary doctorate in 1993. Karen is the founder of Flagstaff Arts and Leadership Academy known as FALA. Karen's vision for the school, which opened in 1997, centered on an integrated curriculum that includes rigorous academics, the visual and performing arts, and service learning. She has been recognized numerous times for her work in education and received many accolades including the Carolyn Warner Legacy Award in 2021, and was named the 1993 Arizona Teacher of the Year. Karen now works with Westhead in Phoenix, supporting Arizona, Colorado, Utah, and Nevada state education departments and the Bureau of Indian Education. Okay. I'm the first, so. <laughs> uh, Robin Ewell, our next inductee, is a three-time graduate of NAU. She earned an MED, a Master's of Education, in Elementary Education in 2011, and another Master's of Education in Bilingual Multicultural Education in 2012 and completed her third master's degree in science education 
from NAU's Department of STEM Education in 2022. A fifth grade teacher in Tucson, Robin won the prestigious 2020 Presidential Award for Excellence in Mathematics and Science Teaching. In 2017, she was selected as the Arizona Elementary Science Teacher of the Year, and she currently serves as a teacher mentor for the Pima County Superintendent's Office STEM Amazing Program. Y'all got that. Robin was recently named a top 10 candidate for the 2023 Arizona Teacher of the Year to the Arizona Educational Foundation. Good evening. Thank you, President Cruz Rivera, College of Education Dean Malak, the NAU Alumni Association and Foundation for this incredible honor. Before coming to NAU at age 17, I grew up in a very small town, Franklin, Massachusetts. It was so small they taught driver's ed and sex ed in the same car. <laughs> you don't add the laughter to my two minutes, okay? <laughs> Seriously though, our, our Butterfield family includes NAU Lumberjack grads multiple times. Ernie and I met at NAU in the Central Dining Hall, better known as Saga, back in the day. I would not be on this platform, Ernie, without your love and support of my career over the past 46 plus years. Our daughters, Amanda and Katie, each received their bachelor's and advanced degrees from NAU. We are truly lumberjack family. I have been so fortunate to have had NAU mentors throughout my entire professional career. Joe and Marie Roll, Marion Elliott, Carolyn Warner and Eddie Basha, who are co-founders of the Arizona Educational Foundation, which supports the Arizona Teacher of the Year program. And if it weren't for President Gene Hughes, I'll tell you, NA, he made sure that NAU was secured a top spot in that program as a supporter. Although my five NAU mentors are no longer with us, their impact on me has been profound. They each modeled courage, grit, and integrity, always putting educators and students at the center of policy decision-making. I would like to end with one of my favorite quotes from Carolyn's chapter on education in her book, The Last Word. The role of the teacher remains the highest calling of a free people. To the teacher, America, and NAU, entrust her most precious resource, her children, and ask that they be prepared in all their glorious diversity to face the rigors of individual participation in a democratic society. Thank you, NAU, for this wonderful honor. I am so humbled, and go Jacks! I want to start off by saying thank you for this recognition, and congratulations to those who are being honored this evening. NAU truly is an extraordinary institution and has provided me with support and guidance throughout my journey. Without NAU and the outstanding programs, courses, and most importantly, dedicated and passionate faculty, I wouldn't be standing here today. And I would have never learned what it truly means to be an educator. I understand that knowledge creates opportunities, and it was through the engagement and challenges I experienced as a student at NAU that I found the motivation to capitalize on the joy of learning. I will forever be grateful to NAU, whose support all these years has allowed me to build a sol solid foundation on which I have been able to enhance my skills and abilities, giving me the tools I needed to confidently share the knowledge I have gained with my local community and across this great state of Arizona. I do want to say thank you to a few people. First, I can, can't possibly say how much of a privilege it has been to learn from every single member of the NAU faculty. 
They have, without a doubt, widened the scope of what we can do and all that is possible when it comes to providing equity to all Arizona students, especially those who are multicultural and through the opportunities that STEM education creates. Thank you to Dr. Gray for sharing your knowledge and encouragement. Your impact has and will continue to extend past me and onto the countless students who I am privileged to teach every day. I also want to thank and recognize Dr. Das and the rest of the College of Education, the Dean and the President as well, and the alumni, and staff for your commitment and incredible care for educators. Thank you also to my parents who gave me the passion for learning, connection, and meaning. Lastly, I also want to say thank you to my husband, who is also a proud NAU alumni, and our children for their unwavering love and support. You inspire me to dream bigger and more vividly every day. Congratulations, Karen and Robin. Please join me in welcoming to the stage from the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences, Dean Heidi Waymans. Good evening. I'm thrilled and welcome, uh, thrilled to welcome <laughs> to the stage this year's College of Social and Behavioral Sciences Hall of Fame inductees, the Honorable John Brownlee, Ann Buzzard, and the Honorable Tiffany Palmer. The trajectory of John Brownlee's successful legal career dates back to 1985, when he graduated from NAU with a BS in criminal justice. After earning his Juris Doctorate from the University of the Pacific, he worked as a prosecutor, deputy district attorney, and supervising district attorney. He's a highly respected jurist, specializing in homicide and sexual assault cases. A judge for the Superior Court of Kern County, California, he was appointed to the bench by former Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger in 2007. He acts as a mentor to newly elected and appointed judges and was recently profiled in the Los Angeles Daily Journal for his judicial demeanor, intelligence, and skillful handling of high profile court cases. He is a donor to the NAU Foundation. Our next honoree, Ann Buzzard, has been affiliated with NAU since 1974 as a student, alumna, and employee. She earned a BS in Recreation and Leisure Services in 1978 and a Master in Public Administration in 1991. After 34 years working at NAU, 15 in the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences, Ann retired as the Director of Development for the college, raising nearly $10 million in support of lumberjack students. Even in retirement, she continues to assist the college with outreach and connection. A tireless advocate for SBS programs, Anne is an active member of the Flagstaff Alumna Chapter. She's, president, she's a member of the President Society, 1899 Society, and Lumberjack Leaders, and created the Buzzard Family Internship, an endowment in the NAU Career Development Office to provide expenses tied to student internships. Okay. 
Activism and advocacy have defined Tiffany Palmer's life. At NAU, Tiffany was editor-in-chief for the Lumberjack, served in the ASNAU Senate, and founded the Women's Political Caucus on campus. She graduated in 1994 with a BS in journalism. Tiffany is now a Pennsylvania family court judge and is a passionate advocate for LGBTQIA and civil rights in Philadelphia and nationally. Tiffany has received numerous accolades for her outstanding legal work, including the National LGBTQ Plus PARS Leading Family Law Practitioner Award given to leaders in family law whose work has significantly improved the lives of LBG, LGBTQ plus families, parents, and children. She served her community also as a Girl Scout troop leader, sitting on multiple boards of directors and doing other volunteer work. So. So um, John and then Ann and Tiffany, each get your two minutes to um, respond. Is that part of my two minutes? <laughs> no, okay. You okay? Yeah. All right. 41 years ago, at about this time, early November, I was a freshman in Secrets Hall. And it had been a particularly cold day, and then that night a storm came in, and I looked out, and it was snowing terribly. Uh, those of you know that 45 degrees snow and my room at Seacrest looked out at the cemetery, which I always thought was a little ominous. <laughs> um, and it had been a cold day. It's now snowing. I was homesick. I didn't know anybody. I'm a desert boy. I'm freezing to death. So I called my mom and dad, and I said, this is not working out. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm coming home. And my mom got on the phone, and... Blankety blank, you're coming home, uh, John. I'm going to send you tomorrow a check for a hundred dollars, righteous bucks in 1981. And I want you to go down and get a jacket, boots, socks, and a beanie, and we'll see you at Thanksgiving. <laughs> Click. Right? <laughs> If you had told me at that moment I would be up here receiving this award, <laughs> I would have thought you were insane. Uh, I want to thank the university uh, for bestowing this award on myself. Uh, very much appreciated. My family, uh, my wife and two daughters for coming in. Two of the individuals that I haven't seen since graduation in 1985 came up today to be here. Yeah. And I'd like to thank, uh, lastly, thank my mom for the best hundred bucks she ever spent. <laughs> so, thank you. Oh gosh, this is such an honor to be up here. You know, uh, the former dean of SBS, Michael Stevenson, and I started this Hall of Fame. Um, so many years ago, and never in my wildest dreams did I think that I would be up here. It's amazing. Um, there's so many of you in the room here tonight that have inspired and supported me through the years. You know who you are, you know who you've <laughs> how many people have donated, and I've had the honor of getting to know you. But I have to thank my family who's with me here tonight, uh, my greatest supporters, my husband Mark, my three wonderful children, Brian, Keith, and Diane, their spouses, Rachel, Pamela, and John, and my four wonderful granddaughters are here, Piper, Kylie, Allison, and Kate. I'm so lucky to have them here. You know, I've worn a lot of hats at NAU. I came here from St. Louis in 1974 as a student, so I was a student, graduated in 78, became an alum, 
became an employee in 87, so there's, there's 34 years. <laughs> um, luckily, both um, Diane and Brian came here as student athletes, so I was able to have the experience of being a parent. And then, of course, uh, retiree as of last year, and along the way, I started donating. And I'm very happy to say that one of my most probably important and impactful and thrilling moments, aside from watching both Brian and Diane earn their Big Sky Championships in soccer and football, <laughs> was to sign the paperwork to get my endowment started for the Buzzard Family Scholarship. My family and I are doing that, and it's the most wonderful feeling. And I want to encourage anyone here tonight, I've still got my fundraiser hat on, um, of if you've been thinking about making a gift, large or small, to please follow through and do so, because the joy of giving is such a wonderful feeling, and the rewards come back to you many times over. So congratulations to all of our honorees tonight, and go Jacks! It's a great day to be a lumberjack. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. It's such an honor to be here tonight. And, um, you know, I arrived here in uh, Flagstaff in the fall of 1990 as a freshman, and I was in Riley Hall, right across from Seacrest. Um, and I never thought that I would be here tonight receiving this type of award, and it's just such an honor. Thank you so much um, to the Alumni Association, um, to President Cruz Rivera, to um, everyone here who made, made it possible for me to be here. Um, I have to thank my family um, who came from different parts of the country to support me here tonight, who've always supported me in everything that I've done. I have to thank my dad, Bill Palmer, who's here from uh, San Diego, um, my sister, Ashley, who's here from Redondo Beach, um, along with her, my nephew, Orion, who's here. Um, and of course, I have to thank uh, my wife, Lee Carpenter. Um, we came here from Philadelphia tonight, and my child, Eleanor Palmer, who's here. So they've always supported me in everything I've done, including a very contentious political campaign two years ago to run for judge in Philadelphia. Thank Thankfully, it was successful. So... Um, I also, have, I also have to thank uh, Professor Lisa Hardy, who uh, nominated me for this uh, Hall of Fame award, who's also here tonight. And uh, she is just an example of the lifelong friendships that I made during my time at NAU. Just uh, two weeks ago, I spent a week with friends in Las Vegas and in Zion National Park hiking with other friends that I met, met here at NAU that I've stayed close with all these years. We always meet up to do something in the great outdoors and um, a lifelong love of the outdoors has also been something that I've really carried with me from my time at NAU. But I think I really have to credit NAU for the success that I've had by giving me a foundation for leadership opportunities that I had while I was here that really uh, led me to uh, find my calling in public service and um, what, what I'm doing now as a judge. So uh, thank you again, everyone, and thank you for this honor. So. Congratulations, John, Ann, and Tiffany. Please join me now in welcoming to the stage from the W.A. Frankie College of Business, Dean Ashok Subramanian. Good evening, Lumberjacks. I'm honored to welcome to the stage this year's W.A. Frankie College of Business Hall of Fame inductees. Greg Davis, Nancy Ball, and this year's faculty inductee, Mason Garrity. An entrepreneur and business leader, Greg Davis joined Global Market Innovators as president following a decade of running his own su successful cybersecurity services firm. His business focused on improving security for organizations of all sizes. 
Greg is passionate about supporting others in their quest for personal and professional excellence. He does this in several ways, as a member of the Phoenix Alumni Chapter, a member of the WA Frankie College of Business Information Systems Management Advisory Council, and a donor to the NAU Foundation. He has donated to the Tim Smith Memorial Athletic Scholarship and volunteers his time as a speaker and Frankie Leadership Week panelist. Greg earned a bachelor's degree in computer information systems in 1998. A financial and philanthropic leader, Nancy Ball has served the Ethel Marley Foundation as its chief financial officer. After beginning her career in public accounting, Nancy has been a loyal supporter for the college and instrumental in cultivating private support for NAU students. As a significant partner of NAU, Nancy's advocacy has transformative impact through the Mali, scholarship, uh, Mali Scholars Endowed Scholarship, the Mali Professorship in Business Excellence, the W.A. Frankie College of Business Nonprofit and Social Entrepreneurship Program, and the Mali Interdisciplinary Program. Nancy earned a BS in accounting in 1979. Dr. Mason Garrity's distinguished career at Northern Arizona University began in 1993. He was a member of the finance faculty and served as director of the MBA program and as associate dean for graduate programs before being named Dean and Vice President of Development and Alumni Engagement. Under his leadership, the college completed construction of a student-focused facility that embodies the college's mission of fostering a sense of community. He was instrumental in developing the, na uh, developing the naming gift to the W.A. Frankie College of Business. He retired from NAU but remains engaged with the university as a major donor and member of the President Society and 1899 Society. He is also a past Skyjax board member. <laughs> and now I'll invite our honorees. Greg, your two minutes start now. <laughs> How about now? Mason told me he had a five to 10 minute speech, so he said I'd better keep it quick. <laughs> Um, uh, I'm, I'm very honored to have this award tonight. I uh, appreciate uh, Dean Shook and the recognition through the uh, Franklin College of Business. Um, I often tell people how important NAU is to me. It's, uh, <clears throat> you know, I've heard a couple folks say tonight it's, it's home, it's welcoming. You know, when, when I came to NAU, I felt the same way. I love the outdoors, I love the people. I got on well with uh, a lot of the professors and the administration. I actually got one of my first jobs in technology at College of Business, supporting Professor Garrity and Mac Bossy. Anyone remember him? Um, yeah, so I, I owe NAU a lot uh, to the early foundations of not only my uh, personal but professional development. Um, I feel like I gained a lot of uh, self-confidence and uh, you know technical aptitude and um, you know in the technology field and that definitely propelled me into uh, where I'm at today and you know on, on a personal side I'm also really proud to be um, you know part of a large family of lumberjacks um, a couple of mother-in-laws here tonight with me Betsy and Lynn my wife Jamie um, all lumberjacks my my uh, late father-in-law Tim Smith as as you mentioned before, uh, he played on, on the football team here, brother-in-laws, my nephew just graduated, so really proud to be part of a big Lumberjack family and uh, looking forward to the win tomorrow. Go Jacks! Hi, it is like everyone else has said, quite an honor to be standing up here. I, I'm going to go back a little bit in time, back to 1974. I Believe it or not, 18 years old, and I was driving in the car with my parents up to NAU. 
I-17 wasn't even built yet. They were still blasting through the mountain. And my father's like, we have to wait two hours? I hope this is worth it. <laughs> and then when we got there and went to the College of Business, it was, I knew I was home. I, a lot of you will remember David Chase, and I, I did have the privilege of seeing him about a year ago. He was the assistant dean uh, at the time, and he just made all of us scared to death 18-year-olds feel right at home. You can do this. Yes, it's the College of Business, but you absolutely can do this. Um, the professors at the College of Business, uh, I am an accounting major. I am a CPA, and they all were in your corner, and you knew that from the very beginning. And back then, when I started, um, there weren't very many women, so um, that was a little daunting, too. But by the time I finished, half of the uh, classes, upper division classes, by then were women, and that was in 79. So we have come a long way. Um, they helped us to pass the CPA exam, whatever you needed to get through that. If I had to pass the CPA exam today, I would be in big trouble. <laughs> it's a lot. Um, I've had many different um, job and career opportunities. Uh, with I started out um, with a, gover a government internship through the College of Business. I ended up at a naval air station in San Diego. And that was quite an experience. Uh, Shell Oil, which uh, a lot of companies recruit very heavily uh, at the College of Business because they know the excellence that is uh, that comes out of that college. Then I, uh oh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I'm the I'm the first one that got the music. <laughs> but I just I want to thank you for this honor and all the work with the College of Business has just been amazing for me. <laughs> I have to at least thank my husband. <laughs> 32 years and he's just the love of my life and supports me as a person in, in my career. So thank you. See anything? Probably good for the best. I'd like to start by thanking the Academy. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, that's the wrong speech. Um, and thank the band. Didn't know there was going to be walk up music. Pretty awesome. I'd like to thank uh, everybody here for this honor. Um, one thing I have to say right away is thanks to the event staff who put this on because. <laughs> You know, it looks seamless and it's not. Um, although they did make one mistake. Um, they gave an old faculty member a microphone. I hope that works out for them. Um, I had the great privilege to work with amazing people in my 25 years at NAU. I also had the opportunity to meet alumni to this institution that all shared one thing. Their unending love for this institution. NAU gives a lot of people chances and supports them on that journey, and I happen to think that's what higher education is supposed to do. I also got to be in the classroom with students who mostly liked me. I'm still friends with many around the world. They inspired me then and they still do today. And I couldn't have done any of this without support of my family. My wife Marcia's here, 40 years, put up with a lot as she'd be the first to tell you. So thank you, dear. Once again, thank you so much for this honor. Congratulations, Greg, Nancy, and Mason. And thank you to the deans for those wonderful tributes tonight. Before we continue, I'd like to ask all new and former inductees to the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences, the W.A. Frankie College of Business, and the College of Education Halls of Fame. Please stand if you are able to be recognized.
We're so proud of you. Thank you for being here. I now invite President Cruz Rivera back to join me on the stage to introduce the President's Alumni Award winners from the College of the Environment, Forestry, and Natural Sciences, the College of Health and Human Services, and the College of Education. Please join me in welcoming to the stage from the College of the Environment, Forestry, and Natural Sciences, Melvin Hunter, Jr., and Interim Dean, Jim Allen. I started my career in uh, civil engineering. I found out that that wasn't the place for me. I talked to my dad, he was an employee of Indian Affairs, and he told me about forestry. So I applied at uh, NAU School of Forestry and came to learn a lot about the environment. While that fire was really the hook that got me interested and what kept that interest was uh, hazardous fuels reduction. I am a director today, but I still think fuels is probably the best job out there. We're sustaining our forest. Wallapai, it's known as people of the tall pine. It's a forest for our community, so it provides a whole lot of opportunity for the community. The faculty at the School of Forestry, they're not only passionate about what they do, but they're always thinking about tomorrow. Whatever they're planning ahead, they always want to involve students, communities. Their doors were always open and they're always welcoming, but they really had an interest in your future. I uh, support uh, donations, uh, emergency funds, any type of scholarship, you know, geared towards Native American students. Work with the Alumni Association and then the uh, School of Forestry Advisory Board and then uh, Chair of the Subcommittee Native American Recruitment and Retention. That's how I give back to NAU and then promoting the School of Forestry and promoting higher education. If we look at the history, how many foresters have we had in the last 30, 40, 50, 60 years local right here? Let's empower the tribes and those individuals and start setting them up for these positions. That can give them a career path or maybe persuade them from going down a road that, you know, leads to nowhere. We'll do it through the forest. We'll do it through education. We'll do it through providing opportunity. An Arizona native, Melvin Hunter Jr. is a member of the Wallapai tribe and serves as its forestry and wildland fire management director and served as the crisis commander for the tribe's COVID-19 response team. Melvin was honored with a Gold Axe Award prior to his graduation in 2010 with a Bachelor of Science in Forestry. Since then, he has regularly volunteered at NAU serving as an Alumni Association board member and a member of the School of Forestry Advisory Council, where he chaired the Recruitment and Retention Committee. He serves as an alumni host mentor for the Lumberjacks Thrive Externship Program and generously donates to the NAUF Foundation. Melvin is the definition of a true blue lumberjack. And a quick special note of congratulations, Melvin and his family, to Melvin and his family on the birth of their new son this week. Congratulations, Melvin. Well, uh, it's, it's really an honor to be here. It's an honor to uh, work with NAU for the last 10, 15 years. Uh, it's an honor to be a part of the School of Forestry and be a, a part of NAU as a whole and really feel as a, you know, a deeper sense like a family member 
working with the faculty, getting to know folks, and the opportunity that continuously knocks and is continuously open, there's nothing much more I can do but to take that and to give it to another individual. I often look around and I see my coworkers, see subordinates, see folks within my community and outside of my community. And I, I often think like, you know, what, what is it for you? What, where are you going to be? Have you, have you uh, been outdoors? Have you enjoyed the forest? Have you managed the forest? Wildland fire is a, a big deal. And that's often the hook to a lot of the things we do. But the opportunity is just tremendous and the opportunity is big. And the job I have today, you know, I couldn't be more thankful for the history as a federal employee and now a tribal employee and being a tribal member and the doors that opens up to the local folks there. Uh, a funny story here, I'll, I'll bring different uh, staff members with me when I come to meet with the School of Forestry or uh, do different activities or events and I'll drop, you know, two of them dropped off on the North Campus and said, hey, here's, here's kind of your task. Number one, find a map. Number two, stop by the Klein Library. Number three, stop by the Native American Cultural Center. And I'll see you at the School of Forestry in about two hours. But that type of exposure, it's, I, I don't quite know what that does for an individual. But for, for myself, it was just those little opportunities or, or the small things to say, have you thought about this? What about these things that open the doors? And, and here I am today, and I, I, I'm truly honored for, for being here and, and being selected. I, I know what the great things Jacks are doing out there around the world. So it's me, and I really appreciate it. I thank my family for coming in right here. I do, uh, my wife, she's, uh, she's at home and our, our three kids, but they're blooming up too. <clears throat> and at the end of the day, you know, there's uh, a couple things that, that I, I, I live by. And it really comes up in the fire community and what we do in, in ICs. But the simple words that make uh, the character of each individual, and that's, you know, duty, integrity, respect. Those things go a long ways for me when I work with folks, when I talk to folks, and even uh, see it in individuals. And even greater than that, I'm really thankful uh, for the good Lord in my life. Uh, up until this point where I'm at today and where I'm headed, um, I, I'd sure like to look back in the next 20, 30 years and see what it's all about and how effective things were. So I'm glad to be a lumberjack here. I'm glad to uh, promote the school and uh, looking forward to those next foresters that I can uh, hopefully exceed my job and what I've done uh, by leaps and bounds. That's setting the folks up for tomorrow and I'm looking after their success too. Thank you. Well, thank you, Melvin, and please, I hope you will all now join me in welcoming to the stage from the College of Health and Human Services, Patrick Wheeler and Dean Lillian Smith. We're in Tuba City, Arizona, at Tuba City Regional Healthcare Corporation. I'm an orthopedic nurse practitioner. I came out here for an interview, fell in love with the location and the people out here, and decided this is where I want to work. So I applied for all the positions that were open at the time. The staff here are excellent. I got to know a lot of the people and their family members, and I've always just enjoyed being out here on the reservation working. I joined the Marines in 1987, and when I got out, I joined in the reserves. We got deployed to Iraq in 2003, and when I came out of nursing school, I came out here to work. I joined the U.S. Public Health Service, so I find it as an extension of my service. So being a nursing student at NAU is positive in a lot of ways that you have to work hard to get where you're going. And I was able to actually use my military experience for that because in the Marines, you have to work hard to get where you're going. I returned as an instructor, adjunct faculty with the School of Nursing, with the beginning nursing students and teaching them basic nursing skills. And with my experience working with the underserved population out here on the reservation, I'm able to give them some education on working with diversity and language barriers, not just in the bigger towns or cities, but in the rural areas. And I know as an instructor, I really emphasize our students to learn advocacy for the patient. 
I feel like I was blessed to be able to be educated and go through school. And I really respected our instructors. And I feel like my contribution is to give back to the students and give them the education that I received. Patrick Wheeler exemplifies NAU's mission to educate and empower skilled and compassionate healthcare workers. After serving 13 years in the United States Marine Corps, including a deployment to Iraq, Patrick earned his Bachelor of Science in Nursing at NAU in 2009 and Master of Science Family Nurse Practitioner degree in 2016. He has spent the past decade working in Tuba City on the Navajo Nation most recently working with a team of nurses providing care to COVID patients. Patrick shared his expertise in nursing by giving back to NAU as an instructor and mentoring NAU nursing students during their clinical rotations at Tuba City Regional Healthcare. He is a true leader, providing positive and memorable learning experiences for his peers, patients, and students alike. Congratulations, Patrick. I would like to use Melvin's speech, just take out the Forest Service and put nursing. So, good, that's a good speech. Um, so thank you, I wanna thank my wife, um, Dr. Sarah Carlton Wheeler. Um, she's been my inspiration for going back, or going to school. I went to school at the age of 36, um, came back from Iraq and told myself, if I make it through this war, I will go back to school or and get a degree in, in something that I'm passionate about. And, and I always wanted to see what it's like to be a nurse or be a healthcare provider. I just never thought I was smart enough. Um, but my wife was always saying, it's not about necessarily being smart, it's about how much work you put into it. That's what makes you smart, it's that hard work. Um, and I want to thank Don Rivas, Dr. Don Rivas. She's the one that nominated me from uh, School of Nursing. Um, I feel pretty passionate about the School of Nursing. I've, I told her when she was working as a, uh, up at Tuba City that if she ever came into a position of leadership, I'd come work for her. And well, she called me up one day and said, I got a job for you. So um, I loved teaching. The first class that I've ever taught was, uh, was beginning nursing and, and being able to instill my knowledge on the students. I, I've loved it. And I just want to keep on blessing other students for that, um, for all the knowledge that's been instilled on me and, and my personal experiences. Um, but I'm first generation uh, college student and, and so graduate and, and, and a master's degree is on top of that. Uh, my son, Gabe, he's, he's here today. He's uh, an employee here at the NAU. He's, he's now a lumberjack. Uh, my wife, she did her uh, graduate studies here, and so we have all fell in love with Flagstaff several years ago, and, and the original uh, plan was to be here for four years and then leave, um, but we decided let's stay in Flagstaff because we fell in love with the community and, and with the people that we serve. Um, you know, one of, the, one of the biggest things that I've always really enjoyed is working with the underserved populations. That's where my passion's been at. I've always served in a, in a position of, of serving others since I was 18 years old and wouldn't have it any other way. But um, thank you. Thank you, Patrick. Please now, another round of applause for Patrick. Please now join me in welcoming to the stage from the College of Education, Veronica Hippolito and Ramona Melot. I work in community college 
colleges and I meet students who often have been marginalized in education. They've not even considered that university is an option. NAU taught me that there's a place for everyone and made me feel so welcome. And so throughout my career, I've tried to help make those connections for students. I, I did that work at Coconino. Now I do it while I'm at the Maricopa Community College System. What I'm most proud of are the relationships that I've been able to facilitate and foster between NAU and community colleges, not just in Northern Arizona, but across our state. I've dedicated my career to education here in Arizona, and I'm really passionate about helping students reach their potential. There are still populations who don't have access or don't realize that they could go to school if they wanted to. And so I, I think it's important that we continue to think about how we evolve as colleges and universities so that we can meet people where they're at, find those pathways for students to, to join us in a classroom or online um, or in training so that they know that, that they can still pursue their goals, that the things that they would like to do are possible. Last summer, um, I ran across a journal entry from my 20s and the goals I had were to, to get a dog, to have my own apartment. And so I think NAU taught me to dream bigger and, and that will always be a gift from my university experience. I found a purpose, I found um, a passion in my daily work, in the volunteer work that I do. And I give back because I want others to have that same experience. Veronica was a standout NAU student, winning both the Gold Axe Award and the President's Prize when she graduated in 1997 and earning recognition as outstanding graduate student in student affairs in 2000. She has continued that dedication to service and excellence throughout her career and personal life. Veronica earned two degrees from NAU, a bachelor's in elementary education and a master's in clinical health, mental health counseling. She has spent her career in higher education holding roles that include vice president of student affairs at Chandler Gilbert Community College, and most recently, interim president of Scottsdale Community College. A past inductee of the, to the College of Education Hall of Fame, and this is only my second uh, award ceremony, and last year I inducted her into that <laughs> Hall of Fame. She also donates to the NAU Foundation and volunteers for the Alumni Association as a mentor and guest speaker. She's an educator devoted to expanding access to an excellence in higher education. Congratulations, Veronica. So I, I did get that dog, and he is the best dog. <laughs> So um, Dr. thank you, Dr. Cruz Rivera. It's an honor to be here and it's so humbling to be recognized alongside tonight's recipients. Um, Nancy, you have always been a role model for me, um, your service and your dedication to NAU and it's such a privilege to share this evening with you. I wanna thank my parents, my family, and my husband for their support throughout my education and career. They're all here with me tonight. Um, you've always encouraged me to pursue my dreams and have nudged me um, to dream a little bit bigger and to try for things that seem out of reach. And when you do that, you sometimes stumble and you fall, and you've always been there to help dust myself off, get back on my feet, and try again. I especially want to thank Dr. Millot and the College of Education faculty and the Office of NAU Residence Life. Um, you've given me such a strong foundation for my professional life and my career. My NAU family has taught me to be a servant leader and that even the most complex social issues can be solved when we work together as a community. Increasing access to education in Arizona is so critical and I feel fortunate to have had the opportunity to partner with innovative and courageous leaders, leaders who taught me to be authentic. I want to thank Karen Pugliese, Cynthia Childry, and Margot Saltonstall who've helped to address these issues in our state. I feel so lucky to have found a home and family in NAU, and I'll continue to use the lessons that you've taught me to create change in our community. Go Jacks!
Thank you, President Cruz Rivera, and congratulations, Melvin, Patrick, and Veronica. Who's ready for some dinner? All right. Okay, we have two buffets of delicious food prepared by the award-winning team at High Country Conference Center. The buffets are on the side of the wall. There are two sides of the buffet. Um, but here's the deal, we can't all simply get up at once. So four tables will go at a time and will be released by our stage fairies. Uh, we do ask that you move through the lines efficiently because we have a very hungry room today. Um, our first four tables that will be released now by our stage fairies are one and two and 29 and 30. All right, jackpot. All right, I'm looking forward to what Brent and the band have planned for us this evening. Uh, Brent, you know I have to ask, will you take a request? Well, we've been thinking about it, and uh, no, we are not taking requests at this time. Okay, okay, no requests tonight. How about before you start your dinner set, Brent, how about a name that tune to see which table goes next? We can absolutely do a name that tune. Okay, all right. Who, are you guys ready for this? All right, raise your hand if you know this tune. Raise your hand if you know this tune. Raise your hand if you know this tune, all right? Ready? Hit it, Brad. Raise your hand if you know this tune. All right. All right. We have a winner. Congratulations to table 13. You can go get your food. All right, please hang tight and wait for your stage fairies and enjoy your dinner. Thank you. 
Welcome back, Lumberjacks. How about a round of applause for the bands? And how about for the food? The next category of tonight's awards ceremony is the NAU Alumni Association Board's five Distinguished Alumni Awards. Presenting these special honors is Alumni Board President and my dear friend and mentor, Jim Jay. Hit it, Fred. Jim, a lifelong and award-winning public servant, is a 1991 graduate earning his degree in international affairs. Jim leads the NAU Alumni Association Board, which is comprised of dedicated volunteers who serve as key ambassadors and advocates for NAU 2025, the thriving Lumberjack community, and the NAU Foundation. Welcome to the stage, Mr. President. Northern Arizona University alumni are trailblazers, creators, and leaders across fields and disciplines. They are scientists, athletes, educators, physicians, writers, engineers, artists, and entrepreneurs shaping the future for generations of lumberjacks. The Northern Arizona University Alumni Association created the Distinguished Alumni Awards to honor alumni who have distinguished themselves in their careers and community and who embody the true blue spirit of the university. The achievements of each Distinguished Alumni Award recipient reaffirm the sincere pride Lumberjacks have in their alma mater. The Alumni Association is proud to present five Distinguished Alumni Awards each year. Dr. Cliff Harkins, Distinguished Citizen of the Year Award. The Dwight Patterson Alumna, Alumnus of the Year Award. The Excellence in Achievement by a Recent Graduate. The Jeff Ferris Volunteer of the Year Award. The Joe and Marie Roll Spirit of NAU Award. Each distinguished alumnus represents the lasting lumberjack impact of leadership, service, and spirit. Steph, what number am I? Got it. So thank you, Steph. Uh, I am proud to be a lumberjack. Let me start by saying that uh, Stephanie Smith serves as our Associate Vice President for Alumni Engagement. Uh, Steph, thank you for your service to our nearly 200,000 alumni and to NAU. You are a good human being. I appreciate you and the alumni engagement team for all you do every day, including all your work for this amazing event this evening in partnership with University Events and everything that you do every day to serve. Thank you, Steph. Our first Alumni Association Award this evening is the Dr. Cliff Harkins Distinguished Citizen of the Year Award. This award recognizes distinguished service to nonprofit organizations, governmental assignments at the municipal, county, state, and federal level, or other outstanding citizen service. The winner of the 2022 Cliff Harkins Distinguished Citizen of the Year is David Engelthaler. A familiar name to those of us in Flagstaff and in Arizona. Since receiving two NAU biology degrees, a BS in 1991 and a PhD in 2014, 
Dr. David Engelthaler's work in epidemiology and disease control has improved lives at local, state, national, and international levels. Dave is a professor and a director of programs and operations at Translational Genomics Research Institute North, what we know as TGEN, where he became a key leader in Arizona's fight against COVID-19. He oversaw the rapid development of TGEN's COVID-19 diagnostic tests, the creation of a federally licensed COVID diagnostic laboratory, consultation services to the CDC, and the institution of the Arizona COVID Sequencing Reference Laboratory. Dedicated to his home community, Dave was instrumental in developing Flagstaff STEM City, connecting Flagstaff STEM businesses, organizations, and resources to schools, students, and families. Please join me in congratulating Dr. Engelthaler and welcome him to the stage. Congratulations. Thank you. Can you hold this while you talk? No, I want to hold that thing. Yeah. Awesome. No, this is a, this is a fantastic honor. Uh, thank you, and, and thank you to uh, the NAU Alumni Association, uh, Mr. President and, and Mr. President. Um, it's, it's fantastic to be here. I, I truly am honored. Um, I also want to thank those who nominated me, namely uh, uh, Dr. Crystal Hepp, um, who uh, I am I'm really grateful. Uh, I also got to give a shout out uh, to uh, my wife, Deanne, who's here, and my family and, and friends who can't be here. Yeah, my wife, Deanne's back there, uh, who can't be here, but they're watching. Uh, and to my colleagues and, and to the community. Um, I, I'm really inspired by all of you all the time. I, I get new inspiration daily. Um, I also really want to uh, give a, um, a special thank you uh, to my father, Thomas Engelthaler. Um, he, uh, he had an uh, incredible um, kind of a lifelong model of um, silent and stoic um, community service, uh, public service, and, and service to his family. Uh, so thank you, Dad. I really uh, um, I appreciate you every day. Um, I know I don't have much time. It's running quick. So maybe I'm going to end with maybe a, a call to action. At TGen, if you were to walk into our building, you'll see these 18 and a half inch letters that read, we have the ability, therefore we have the responsibility. And while that's our mission, because we do great work, it's also my personal ethos. And I think, actually, I, I know uh, that it can be everybody's because Essentially, we all are privileged with some kind of ability, no matter how big or small. And I do think it's our responsibility to use that to make you know, positive impacts on the world. And, and that's what I try to do every day, uh, and that's what I'll, I'll keep trying to do. Uh, so I want to thank you all for allowing me to keep trying alongside you here in, in this lumberjack community, in this, um, this city that I like to refer to as uh, the shining city on Arizona's hill. Go Lumberjacks. Thank you. Congratulations, Dave. The Dwight Patterson Alumna or Alumnus of the Year Award is presented to NAU alumni who have achieved outstanding success in his or her professional career. The winner of the 2022 Dwight Patterson Alumnus of the Year is Jennifer Nez Dennettdale. <laughs> Dr. Virgen Jennifer Nez Dennettdale earned an MA in English in 1991. In 1999, she served the, f the first, sh she became the first Navajo to earn a PhD in history. There's more. She has influenced several generations of students, first as a history professor at NAU, and more recently as professor and chair of American Studies at the University of New Mexico in Albuquerque. Her scholarship examines the largely unexplored intersections of gender, nationalism, and indigenous peoples. An intellectual and a leader in her field, Jennifer serves her varied communities, NAU, the Navajo Nation, and the broader academic community through her work with the Institute for American Indian Research, the Newberry Library, 
various academic journals, and as chair of the Navajo Nation Human Rights Commission. Please join me in congratulating Dr. Dentondale and welcoming her to the stage. Thank you. I'm very thankful for this honor. Thank you very much. I want to thank uh, President Cruz Rivera for his land acknowledgement. Doko Osli is our female sacred mountain to the Diné. And I want to thank the Illumina Alumni Association for this honor. NAU holds a special place in my heart. It's a place where I came into my own as a writer, a scholar, and an educator. educator. It's a place where I began my journey to be accountable and responsible to indigenous nations and the nation in our communities. I want to thank my late mother and father, Frank and Rose Nez, who were boarding school survivors, who believed in education, that education was a tool for transformation and regeneration. And I want to thank also especially the NAU English and History Department for doing what no other higher education institution had been able to do up to 1999, which was to produce the first Diné to earn a history degree, a PhD history degree. I, I remain friends and colleagues with many of the people I met here, my professors who are my advisors and my mentors, and my peers at NAU, and I'm uh, glad to see the chair of history department, Lila Dan Danielson here, um, enjoying the evening with us. I was able to finish my dissertation in the history department with the, with the Francis McAllister Fellowship, so thank you, history department. And so I also finally just want to thank my family, my son Nathaniel, my grandson Miles, and my sister Jenny who came with me to celebrate. Congratulations again, Jennifer. The Excellence in Achievement by a recent graduate award is presented to recognize a young NAU alumna or alumnus who has achieved outstanding success in his or her professional career in a relatively short amount of time. This year's winner of the Excellence in Achievement by a recent graduate award is Sally Barnes. <laughs> Sally Barnes received both the Gold Axe Award and the Distinguished Senior Award for the College of Arts and Letters before graduating summa cum laude in 2013 with a Bachelor of Science in Spanish secondary education. As a student, she was involved with campus recreation and studied abroad in Costa Rica. Working first as a Spanish teacher, Sally quickly moved into leadership roles. Within three years of graduation, she was a department chair for two high schools in Texas. Currently, Sally is the World Language Program Coordinator in the Klein School District near Houston. She is writing a book about world language programs across the nation and regularly presents at conferences where she always attributes her success to Northern Arizona University. Please join me in congratulating Sally and welcoming her to the podium. Thank you. Thank you, okay. I wrote it on my program, so I'm sorry in advance. Um, also, this goat is not mine. I'm just gonna be really, uh, this is a ridiculous picture, but it is not mine, so I'm so sorry, but it is so cute, so it's fine. Also, um, the recent grad I learned is within the last 10 years, so I just made it, because 10 years is next year, so that's very exciting, yay. Uh, just made it under the cutoff. Uh, I wanna take a moment to think, first of all, um, the professor that I would say changed the direction of where I was going, and that's Karina Collentine. She is one of my guests tonight. I am so grateful for everything that she's done for me, every push she's given me. Um, I have two of my college roommates here, so that's really exciting too, and I want to thank them because they're just the best cheerleaders in the best time. Um, and my family is watching on live stream because they are babysitting my pets. So uh, thank you to mom and dad for doing that. Um, so. I would say that NAU was the first time that I really went with a gut feeling. I walked on campus 
living in Colorado from Wisconsin, walked on campus and within 15 minutes said, this is where I'm going. This is my home. I know what this feels like. And through that experience, I learned to trust my gut and I started doing so. I started doing the random roommates, which led me to why wonderful roommates who are here today or just continuing on with a program that challenged me every day as a non-native Spanish speaker to be in that program was incredibly challenging, but Karina was amazing and she helped me so much. And it's just been a series of, of those gut instincts and those instinctual moves that led me to Texas, um, which led me to helping a lot of people during Hurricane Harvey. I've selfishly rescued like 50 foster animals, but that's really selfish because I just, I mean, obviously I love animals. Um, so that's a selfish one. Um, but just, it's, it's been those moments that have led me here. And I'm really grateful to have served over a thousand students as their high school Spanish teacher. Um, and now working in a district with 200 foreign language teachers and being their leader for their thousands of students and working um, and writing a book and working with a company that serves thousands of teachers all over the nation. Um, it's really an honor and a privilege. So uh, NAU definitely taught me, I wrote this part down, uh, to follow my gut instincts, to trust my intuition, to stay humble, to be curious, to be kind, to give back, and to always kick ax. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Just the glasses, not me. Congratulations, Sally. The Jeff Ferris Volunteer of the Year Award is presented to an NAU alumna or alumnus who has demonstrated sustained interest and loyalty to the NAU Alumni Association and the university as a whole. The, this year's winner of the Jeff Ferris Volunteer of the Year Award is Brian Calloway. Brian Calloway, a vice president at Micron Technologies in Boise, Idaho, graduated from NAU in 1999 with a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering. Micron is a key partner in career development initiatives for the College of Engineering, Informatics, and Applied Sciences. With Brian acting as a leader in creating a robust workforce pipeline for electrical and environmental engineering students through internships and externships and leading to philanthropic support from the Micron Foundation. He is a key ambassador for Boise area NAU alumni and has hosted alumni events at Micron. Brian generously volunteers his time as a judge for the Undergraduate Research Symposium and serves on the Dean's Advisory Board. He is a mentor for the Lumberjacks Thrive Externship Program and a member of the Lumberjack Leaders Gift Society. Please join me in congratulating Brian and welcoming you to the podium. So I get to follow a lot of really great, inspiring people tonight, and I've uh, been blown away by the Lumberjack community. I wanted to say, you know, how inspired I am by all of you, so it's, it's been great to be here. Um, I am from the College of Engineering, so my speech will be under two minutes, and I'll be looking at my shoes. <laughs> it was great to be back at, at NAU. It's been a long time with COVID lockouts and such. I haven't been back in quite a few years. Uh, great to see the campus growth. Spent a lot of time with the engineering department. Uh, the faculty is amazing and it's really accelerated from my time here. Um, the, the, the level of talent they brought in is, is truly amazing. Uh, the architecture on campus, breathtaking. So most of the buildings I'm used to look like Gamage or a few older 70s ones in the South Campus. Um, the architecture that's new, modern is, is pretty amazing. Um, you still have the same awful parking, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to start by accepting this award on the behalf of the Boise alumni community. I'm here getting uh, to, to accept it, but it is really all of them. Uh, one of my colleagues is at my table, Alex Gutierrez. We've, we've worked hard to build uh, our first chapter in Boise this last year, two years during COVID. Uh, we're not officially a chapter yet. We're going we're gonna to work on that. Um, however, last year as an unofficial chapter, we raised the second most money at, for any city in America on Giving Day. <laughs> Secondly, I'd like to thank the... I'm going to say this wrong. Andy, I apologize. <laughs> you have a tongue-twisting department name. It was just the College of Engineering when I was here. The, the College of Engineering, Informatics, and Applied Sciences. 
I would like to recognize the Dean, Andy Wang. He's been a very uh, great partnership to industry. I'd like to uh, recognize Daphne Chin, an amazing professor who works tirelessly to advance students, and Julie Hanisi. I always say her name wrong, but I've known her so many years, she'd stop correcting me. <laughs> uh, also from the staff, Casey Pettit and Betty Sandoval, also really great partners for Micron and our initiatives. Yeah. And finally, from the alumni engagement team, we, we wouldn't be here without her. She's really kept us driven, reminds us tirelessly through email to keep on task and, uh, and fulfill the promises we had. Uh, that's Aaron Munn. And then last but not least, I'd like to thank my loving wife who supported me through all this over-commitment I make. <laughs> and she's, uh, she's always been a strong supporter. And I love you, babe. Thank you. Congratulations, Brian. The Joe and Marie Roll Spirit of NAU Award is presented to an NAU alumna or alumnus who radiates the spirit of NAU. The 2022 winner of the Joel and Marie Roll Spirit of NAU Award is Nancy Sarenbetz. I get to talk about you a little bit. Nancy Sarabance, who graduated in 1975 with a bachelor's in sociology, epitomizes the lumberjack spirit. As a student, she won Gold Axe, President's Prize, and the Outstanding Senior Woman Awards. Now Director of Development for the College of Education, Nancy has been an NAU employee for more than 15 years. She is a past president of the NAU Alumni Association Board and a former member of the NAU Foundation Board. Currently, she works for her alma mater as a gift officer for the College of Education. The top alumni volunteer for NAU and the Alumni Association, she is a member of the 1899 Society and the Lumberjack Leaders Gift Clubs and is an NAU Athletics True Blue supporter. Nancy truly is Miss NAU. So we all join together in celebrating Nancy. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you all. Ah, oh, this is tough. I'm always on the other side celebrating everyone. <laughs> Thank you. This is such an honor. Thank you, Dr. Cruz Rivetta and Dr. Rima Brusi. Thank you so much. Thank you, alumni, President Jimmy, AVP Stephanie, all our board. You know what? I had the privilege of serving on the board two different six-year terms. Once, when I just first graduated, my class nominated me to serve on the board. What an honor and privilege. Can you believe I knew all the people for whom those awards are named? Jeff Ferris, Cliff Harkins, Dwight Patterson. Woohoo! I am so honored. Thank you so much. And Joe and Marie were mentors to me from the beginning. They taught me. They put their arms around me. They loved NAU. They loved our students. Students were always number one. And to this day, we can say we still honor our students number one. I'm so grateful. I remember Joe and Marie with such fondness. I used to pick up Dean Roll, Joe, Ah, oh, for every alumni board meeting when I came back to work here. And he would be at his mailbox in his three-piece suit with his cane. Nancy, I'm ready to go to the meeting. And wife Marie, I'd go to the door and knock, 
Marie, you coming? No, give me a chance to drink my coffee. I'll be there soon. Take Joe. <laughs> what an honor. And I want to thank my partner, Pete, for all the help he's given me. He's an ASU alum, but he loves NAU as much as I do. <laughs> Thank you to all my classmates that are here tonight, all my friends, our leadership council in the College of Ed, my deans, Dean Ramona Malat and Dean Cynthia Childry in the library. You are all so special to me. I love you all. Thank you. This is an honor I'll never forget. Thank you. Thank you, Jimmy. You're a little sneaky with that script in your pocket. I want to share your congratulations for our 2022 Distinguished Alumni Award winners, Dave, Jennifer, Sally, Brian, and dear, dear Nancy. Congratulations. On behalf of the Alumni Board, I'd like to recognize new and past Alumni Association Distinguished Alumni Award winners. Please stand if you are able. Thank you for being here. Distinguished alumni, you are exemplars of what it means to be a lumberjack. With community, leadership, and service at the forefront of all of your success. A special thank you to Jana Harper, Vice President of the Alumni Association Board, and Aaron Munn, Director of Alumni Engagement, for their work overseeing this year's Distinguished Alumni Award Program. Look around this room. There are so many incredible lumberjacks. You too can recognize NAU alumni by making a nomination for the 2023, 2023 Distinguished Alumni Awards at foundationnau.org. And don't forget, you can make a gift in honor of any of our honorees tonight by using the QR code in your program. Now, I invite President Cruz Rivera to the stage to present the final two President's Alumni Awards of the evening from the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences and the W.A. Frankie College of Business. Thank you, Stephanie. Please join me in welcoming to the stage this year's President's Alumni Award winner from the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences, Victoria Fimia, and Interim Dean, Heidi Wayman. impressed me about NAU and the reason I liked it so much was the access to the professors. Having smaller classrooms and the ability to work with the professor was really impressionable on me in a favorable way. Certainly President Eugene Hughes was very important to me. He helped to support me with Truman Scholarship and also supported me when I went for the Rhodes Scholarship. Then there were two faculty members that were really quite helpful. Uh, one was Dr. Tony Parker, and then the third is Dr. Sharon Porter. The degree from NAU, because it was not only in speech communication, but also I had my minor in American Studies, really gave me a broad foundation to not only communicate effectively, but also the American Studies program gives you a unique perspective about who we are as a people. With the Equity and Access Office, my degrees at NAU as well as my experience as an attorney all allow me to make sure that everybody in the NAU community has a supportive environment. I give back to NAU by not only serving as a director on the foundation board, but I've also established an endowment with the foundation. And that endowment directly supports the speech and debate team at NAU. I feel that 
supporting the team helps to support several students. And the reason I give back is I think of education as an investment. I want to see young people succeed because if they succeed, then the entire community succeeds. Even with a high profile legal career, Victoria still finds time to be one of NAU's most engaged alumni. But first, she was an outstanding student, earning a Gold Axe Award and President's Prize. The 1981 Harry S. Truman Scholarship in a 1983 Rhodes Scholar finalist for the state of Arizona. She graduated in 1983 with bachelor's degrees in communications and undergraduate studies. She has served on the NAU Social and Behavioral Sciences Advancement Council and the NAU Foundation Board, where she is currently the vice chair and in line to be chair in 2023. She was a Jeff Ferris Volunteer of the Year Award winner and established an endowment through the NAU Foundation supporting NAU's speech and debate team. Congratulations, Vicki. This is really rare air to be up here. Thank you so much to the college, President Cruz Rivera. During my lifetime, there were really two groups of people that helped me so much. First, obviously, was my family, my parents, Vincent and Elizabeth, who I know are watching from above. Uh, my brother, Mike, is here. Uh, from Scottsdale, so Mikey, thanks for supporting your little sister. <laughs> and then the second group of people were really the educators and the teachers that I was so fortunate to have. To tell you just a, a little bit of Lumberjack World trivia and Lumberjack Nation, many of you know Chuck and Linda Pylon. They're a prominent member of our community. Dr. Chuck Pylon was my eighth grade homeroom teacher at Madison Park Elementary School in Phoenix, Arizona. And we've kept in contact all these years. I don't believe they're able to be here tonight, but if they're streaming it on YouTube, a shout out to both of you. Thank you for your support and friendship. <laughs> And it's good to know, you know, Madison Park still exists. It's over there on 16th Street in Campbell, down in Phoenix. And just for their friendship for through all these years, who knew that there would be this connection with NAU? I'd also just like to recognize, uh, thank you, Ernie and Terry, for joining my brother and I at the table. And there are three students who are from the speech and debate team who participated, who also joined the table tonight, gave me a beautiful thank you card. Uh, and I just appreciate that so much. That's just part of the lumberjack spirit. So really just thanks to all of you. This is such an honor. And I think what it illustrates is the real power of public education. Thank you so much. Thank you, Vicki. Another round of applause. Please now join me in welcoming to the stage tonight's President Alumni Award recipient and this year's winner from the WA Frankie College of Business, Sherry Slayton and Dean Ashok Subramian. I don't know how I really chose finance or chose banking. I think those two just turned out to be a great fit for me. I've liked working with people. I've loved helping companies, big businesses, small businesses, all of it. Choosing NAU was a great choice for me. I am a first generation college student. I didn't have a lot of knowledge about what university learning was going to be like. And to go to a school in my hometown, since I was from Flagstaff, turned out to be an excellent fit for me. 
plus I was a scholarship student. Not only did I have a tuition waiver, but I also had scholarship money to attend. And those things made it possible for me to go to school. That's why I decided to give to the NAU Foundation and establish a scholarship myself because I wanted students that were in my similar situation, first generation students, students from a small town who decided to go to NAU to have an opportunity to go to school like I did. I can think of nothing more important or more valuable than providing an opportunity for someone to go to school. Going to college and obtaining a degree can change someone's life and that of every generation after them. NAU provided me the basis of the education that allowed me to have a great career and advance my life. Because of that, it encouraged me to encourage my children to have a higher education. Specifically, one of my children ended up going to NAU, and so when it comes time to giving back to the community, that's a great place for me to do so. And I just think service, you know, is one of those things that everyone should find a way to do. Sherry Slayton, a 1985 graduate with a bachelor's degree in finance, is dedicated to support the W.A. Frankie College of Business. Currently an executive vice president at Western Alliance Bank, she has more than 40 years of banking experience and was named one of Arizona's most influential women in business. A major donor to the NAU Foundation, she funded an endowed scholarship, served on FCB's National Advisory Board, is an inductee in the FCB Hall of Fame, and served on the NAU Foundation Board. Her business success, community service, and willingness to give back to the College of Business and NAU exemplify her lumberjack spirit and dedication to student success. Congratulations, Sherry. Thank you so much, Dr. Cruz Rivera, Dr. Subramanian. Such a pleasure for being here today and accepting this special award. Community service has been something that's been part of my family, from my parents, in our family, and now passed down to my daughters. Lindsay, who's here tonight, Kristen, who's watching on video from Kansas. Um, it's just been part of our family for such a long time. I've just had the pleasure of working with NAU in the foundation board, on the National Advisory Board for the College of Business. Um, it's something that's been very important for our family. As I said in the video, I'm a first-generation college student. Someone else's uh, dedication to community service and scholarship is something that helped me get through school financially. And I, many years later, I just felt like it was something that was important for me to do, which um, inspired me to establish our, our scholarship and then luckily, uh, just being based in Flagstaff business-wise for many, many years, the employer I worked for, um, several employers actually that I worked for, it was important for them, for their executives to give back to the community. It allowed me time and opportunity to volunteer um, with the College of Business and with the NAU Foundation in terms of time and service and then also to direct some of their charitable giving back to the university. We were able to establish the Center for um, Business Outreach at the College of Business. So those are some of the things that we were able to do to give back to the university. It's just been great to be able to um, work, work together in those ways to give back to NAU, to my alma mater. And so I'm just thankful to have given those opportunities for service as I'm sure many of you have, and some of that has been spelled out here tonight. I just want to thank my family for being here, my husband, again, my daughters, and my mom are here tonight, and I just want to thank you for all the support and encouragement you've given me over the years. So thank you very much. Another round of applause for Sherry.
Before we conclude uh, today, I need to clear some things up. So Stephanie, who we all love and admire for her great work with the Alumni Association and all things Lumberjack, let's give her a big round of applause. She, um, as a, perhaps as a mechanism to allow my distinguished uh, colleagues here on table 13 to have a chance to get to the buffet table earlier, conjured up this idea of a name that tune um, contest, right? You all remember that? And so our band uh, struck um, a tune and many people raised their hand. Anybody wants to just let us know what the tune was? Jenny from the block. Now, Jenny refers to Jennifer Lopez, J-Lo. And so for those of you that are not into the inside joke, I want to share what the inside joke is with you. So it turns out that during our recent installation ceremony where I was given the official privilege to serve as the 17th president of NAU, my uh, lovely, beloved, trusted wife <laughs> introduced me to the audience by relaying a very old truth, which was that when she and I were dating, and this was, I didn't know anything about this, that the students at the University of Puerto Rico, Mayagüez, had a nickname for me. And as you all know, I'm Jose Luis. I am sometimes known as JL. And it turns out that the nickname that I didn't know people had for me was J-Lo. <laughs> and so since that um, truth um, has been shared uh, broadly, Many members of my leadership team have, um, and including the Board of Regents, <laughs> have uh, started referring to me as J-Lo. <laughs> but the one thing that perhaps my dear friend Stephanie doesn't know is that I gave everybody at NAU in my leadership team a quota of three times that they can call me J-Lo. <laughs> and you're down to one, my dear friend. <laughs> So tonight was a celebration and recognition of the NAU community, of our honorees and of you. I am grateful to our honorees and their loved ones for traveling significant distances to let us celebrate you and those that are watching online and celebrating along their loved ones. Each of you represent the best of NAU. You are lumberjack ambassadors sharing and amplifying the story of a most noble institution, the mission driving and shaping the future of our communities. A special thank you to our alumni, donors, and colleagues who support the success of future generations of lumberjacks by ensuring they have access to high quality education at NAU, which allows them to live a life of value as alumni. Thank you very much for your attendance here tonight and for all you do day in and day out to ensure that the good name of Northern Arizona University is known here and far from here because it is important for the world to know that at NAU we know how to elevate excellence and we are committed to ensuring that every single individual that entrusts their educational journey to us can in fact meet their full potential. Thank you very much, and go Jacks! Thank you, President Cruz Rivera. Did anyone hear me call him that word? <laughs> no. I mean, that would have been worth the second strike, but I actually never called you that word. So I still have two more. And I have witnesses. Uh, but thank you for your unwavering leadership and service to our university and for being an advocate for alumni success. All right, I'm going off script here for just a quick moment because we do have one more individual who wants to thank you and toast you for your service to our university. 
Regent Emeritus Ernie Calderon, who I did warn is going to have the cue music also <laughs> installed if he goes over. Good, e good evening, everyone. Those of you who know me know that um, I have a high, rep high respect for academics, only to be surpassed by my respect for bartenders. <laughs> and I was thinking tonight that we would be remiss if we didn't have a round of applause for the ladies and gentlemen who prepared our food and served it for us. So let's applaud them, please. The buck has to stop someplace, and it gladly stops with Jose Luis. You can feel an energy in here tonight. You felt it last year, but you feel it even more tonight. A lot of people are smiling. To be a good president, I know, I've hired five of them, is a very difficult thing. You give up a lot of your personal life, you make a lot of sacrifice. We have a president in Jose Luis who does it with a smile. He sacrifices with a smile. His partner, Rima Brusi, surpasses him in her kindness, in her outgoingness, and in her commitment to help all of us succeed. So tonight, would you please raise a glass and let's have a closing toast to President Jose Luis Cruz Rivera and First Lady Rima Brusi. Salud. To all our alumni here tonight, and those of you who are watching on the live stream, this is your alma mater. This is your university. This is your home. We are lumberjacks for life. I want to give one final note of recognition to the incredible university events team, the advancement teams. Thank you for making tonight so special. And thank you to our partners at High Country Conference Center, Peaks Audio, and University Marketing. And congratulations one last time to all of our awardees this evening. I can't wait to cheer you on at the homecoming parade tomorrow morning. All right, before we leave, hey Brent. Hey. Will you take a request? Third time's a charm. Will you take one request? You know, we've been thinking about it as a band. And, and since it's homecoming, we will take one request. All right. OK. It's between the alma mater and the NAU fight song. All right? We're going to make some noise. Your lovely alma mater, make some noise. I said make some noise. All right. Now make some noise if you want to hear the NAU fight song. All right, you do know it is a law. It's in state statute. If you are an NAU alum and the fight song starts playing, what do you do? You stand up. All right, hit it. <laughs> 